In a society as complex and technologically advanced as our own, it's difficult to imagine some of the hardships faced by missionaries in third world countries. Things we may take for granted are not so prevalent on other parts of the earth, which may not even be fully mapped yet. Here, we rely on advanced technologies and navigation every day, especially in the aviation world. Few industries can match aviation's investment in and reliance on safety. Our vast knowledge of instrumentation, terrain, and weather mitigates many of the risks of flying aircraft in the United States, especially in poor weather. Equipped with instrument approaches, landing systems, GPS, radar, and much more, U.S. airspaces are constantly being monitored and improved to ensure the safety of those traveling by air. While this may be the case for many of us in more developed areas, third world countries often lack these safeguards. Isolated locations and jungle conditions, in particular, present a constant challenge to the safety of pilots, passengers, cargo, and ground personnel. An unfamiliar landing strip or poor weather conditions might be no problem here, but without navigational support, the risk level rises dramatically. Lives are certainly a risk. Missionary aviation pilots frequently land their planes on potentially unsafe remote airstrips without the confirmation that runway obstructions or overgrown vegetation have even been cleared. These isolated airstrips often consist of no more than a few thousand feet of grass and about the width of an NBA basketball court. On top of that, it's not uncommon for pilots to rely on handwritten approach plates from several decades ago. Recent developments in drone technology could change this forever. The Falcon UAV team is partnered with iTech, an organization founded by Steve Saint, who is the son of martyred missionary pilot Nate Saint. Aiming to develop technologies to aid missionaries and indigenous people in their work, the work of Steve's father is not forgotten. With a limited budget, some hands-on flying experience, and an extremely capable mapping software, the project is working towards a fully autonomous mapping system to map landing zones in unprecedented detail. The Falcon UAV team's primary focus is the use of automated 3D mapping and photogrammetry by drones to help identify obstructions to pilots landing on remote airstrips. In the short term, this project protects pilots by giving them an up-to-date view on the landing area ahead. In the long term, the 3D mapping allows us to construct detailed maps of the landing areas which can be distributed to any future pilots who might need to travel there. Using readily available state-of-the-art technology, the Falcon UAV team is working towards developing a system that any missions organization could have access to. In our most current design process, a drone is recommended to fit the client's needs, as well as a pre-flight planning and mapping software. Utilizing our customized settings for optimized tree and obstruction detection, a map is uploaded to the cloud from anywhere in the world. The user then uploads the flight to their device when they are ready to fly a mission. With the press of a button, the drone takes right off. The drone automatically starts its mission after determining its position with extremely accurate GPS and positioning sensors. The drone takes about 20 to 30 minutes to fly from start to finish, flying a preloaded flight pattern to collect images and location data. Once landed, information gathered during the flight is uploaded to a cloud-based processor to stitch together a map. By taking individually matched points on several different photos of the same object, a map is stitched together like a puzzle. Three outputs are given to the user. This includes an earth mosaic, much like Google Earth's 2D map. Next is a digital surface model. This is also known as a DSM. This type of map represents elevation in a color gradient with blue being low and red being high. These maps are the primary resource for tree and object detection used by the team. Lastly, a 3D map is also generated. 
These maps are extremely useful to help less experienced pilots get a feel for a new airstrip and also to help them visualize obstructions. These maps can easily be analyzed by missions aviation personnel with the safety of pilots in mind. Working to optimize the location data collected by these drones, the Falcon UAV team must resolve compatibility issues, errors in tree height measurements, and much more. None of this would be possible without the help of a few friends. With the research ongoing thanks to the continued support of Messiah College Collaboratory, Derek Plant, the Senior Project Manager, SCS Engineers, and all the wonderful folks at iTech, we are hoping to test our fully developed system in the jungles of Ecuador as early as January 2020.